Okay, here we have uh, a couple of problems about trapezoids. Um, with this, um, number one, the instructions don't say it, but actually uh, Q is the midpoint of FG and R is the midpoint of ED. Um, actually, those probably should be the same lengths uh, if this is a isosceles trapezoid, but we don't know that. But all we know is that R and Q are midpoints, making this line, QR, a mid-segment. A mid-segment is going to be parallel to the bases, and it's going to be one-half of the sum. We call this line a median. So that means that one-half of 34 plus 22 is going to equal 14 plus 7x. Again, one half of the totals, which is the top and the bottom, parallel sides, is going to be the median. So here, I have this fraction. Instead of distributing, distributing this in, um, actually, no, I, I could do that. So 34 plus 22, and I know that looks like 39. That's, that's definitely 34. So 34 plus 22, that's going to be 56. And I'm taking half of that. Uh, half of 56 is 28. So I get 28 is equal to negative 14 plus 7x. I'm going to add 14 to both sides, so that's going to give me 42 is equal to 7x. Divide both sides by 7, x is equal to 6. And there we go. Uh, if I plug that back in, uh, 7 times 6 is 42, and 42 minus that 14 is going to give me 28. If you notice, 28 is both 6 away from 22 and 6 away from 34. Nice little trick in checking your answer there, but this is what it means to be a median inside of a trapezoid. Here, again, these two sides are going to be parallel. Remember, a trapezoid has one, exactly one pair of parallel sides, and we call these parallel sides the bases. So those are the parallel lines, and again, just like when we have any type of parallel lines, we're going to have consecutive angles here, cut by this transversal. These consecutive angles are supplementary. So that means that 120 plus that angle E, which is 6x minus 6, is going to equal 180 degrees. So 120 minus 6 is 114. If I add that to 6x, I'm going to get 180. So if I have that 180 and I subtract 114, I'm going to get that 6x is equal to 66, or x is equal to 11. That's it. So again, with trapezoids, these properties with parallel lines really come into play. Uh, as with any other parallelogram, rhombus, square, rectangle, anything like that. So always look for those parallel sides. And be aware of what a median is, what a mid-segment is, and that property involving trapezoids.